Hello, this is CheeseDad6, back with another Minecraft video. This is a follow-up to my previous video, The Best Way to Find Ancient Debris. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend pausing this one and going to watch that before coming back to finish this one. I'll leave a link in the description, and there will be a card on the screen right now. Okay, so I wanted to address several comments from my last video. First off, I said you wanted to go to y equals 13. This is okay, but y equals 15 is actually the most common level for finding ancient debris. So if you're using either method I'm showing today, make sure you are at y equals 15. Second, many people were saying to use beds instead of TNT. And while it is a much cheaper option compared to TNT, all things considered, I still prefer good old fashioned TNT. And I'll tell you why. Number one, beds don't stack in your inventory. I can't put them together here. And this might not sound like a huge thing, but consider that you only have this many inventory spaces. Without shulker boxes, that's the only number of beds that you can carry. I mean, you can have a chest nearby with beds stocking it, but then you have to run back and forth to the chest, pick up beds, place them down. Really, it seems like too much of a hassle for it to be worth it. Second of all, you can only use one bed at a time. So if I have a bed here and a bed there, the blasts don't chain together. This is the size of a TNT blast, one TNT blast right here. This is the size of one bed explosion. So you can see that it's larger, but if you consider that you only can use one at a time versus putting several TNT back to back, really this is much more efficient time-wise, because you just dig a tunnel, fill it up with TNT, make the first one explode. This one, you have to go block by block. First of all, first off, I mined out this entire uh, rectangular prism area, which took a while. I guess it would take a little less time if you had an efficiency tool, efficiency pickaxe. Um, but still, like, I have to go one by one. That bed got destroyed, and then I go to this one. And all of this fire is making the particles. That's going to cause your game to lag after, after a while. TNT is one big explosion, and then the lag's over. So this is just so messy, in my opinion. So yes, the, the bed method that people have been leaving in my comments works. Um, and even in survival, if you stand a significant distance away, you can right-click the bed, and you won't get blown up. I got pushed back there, and it does leave... You do find the ancient debris this way. Um, I think someone said that you can put a block between yourself and the bed, and then it doesn't blow it up. Let's try that in game mode survival really quick. So I'm just about as far away as I can be from this bed. Okay, so I still took damage even though I was far away. Um, TNT, you can stand even further back, and you won't get damaged at all. I was re-watching the video and I thought about a few different options that I could try. So there's um, diagonally like this. If I am in survival, there, and I die. So I was not expecting that. Okay, one sec. Okay, so here is another method. Instead of blocking myself with one block of netherrack, I'm now blocking myself mostly with uh, cobblestone, which is more blast resistant than netherrack. So let's see if this method works. It is um, still a little clunky in my opinion, but if it works, then this is a viable alternative. There, okay, so yeah, I only took half a heart of damage. Um, so this, this method does work. Make sure to use something that's more blast resistant than netherrack um, and you won't take damage. Still, I feel like it's clunky. I also, I hate to keep ragging on the beds because some people do use the beds. They like the method a lot. Um, just for me, I will, I'll show you why I think TNT is better. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. If you, you can tell that if you're trying to mine out a huge area, this fire is going to get crazy laggy. You can turn your particles to minimal, um, but even then the game is still, it's not going to lag, but I just think it, it gets so messy with the fire that the TNT is still definitely my preferred method. And then there's no chance of you getting blown up if you stand far away enough. Um, and then just look at this area. All of this is in one TNT blast. 
see that this just to me just makes much more sense than mining with a bed obviously beds are cheaper it's early game um, but i don't think in early game you're really going to be needing all of this ancient debris um, and once you are late game enough you should build a gunpowder farm because there are really not many more fun or rewarding things in Minecraft than making massive explosions with TNT, especially ones that net you precious materials like the ancient debris. For now, this is still the best way to collect it until the SciCraft or Prototech guys build a working flying machine to gather all the ancient debris blocks into one place. But, you know, like I said, the bed beds are fine, but really you should build a gunpowder farm and really you should make massive explosions because they're so cool, they're so fun, Look at that. That's enormous compared to compared to this. Boom. That's so tiny. And you would have to do so many of these beds to match a single stack of TNT like that. I don't know. So that's just my two cents. I know it was pretty biased, but hopefully some of this information was useful to you. Um, remember Y equals 15, not Y equals 13 like I thought. Um, grab yourself some TNT. Grab yourself flint and steel or flame bow and get to work. If this video was informative or useful to you, please consider leaving it a like and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.